Okay. Hi. So, I've been traveling a lot this past few months visiting some friends. I went to New York. I went to South Korea. I've also celebrated my birthday. I'm 27 now. I've changed my home a little bit. My goal right now is to decorate my home with things that I find while traveling. So yeah, I'm going to show you the new changes, something that I've been collecting from my trips, which is very exciting. This print is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see with the reflection. I got this in New York. I found this on the financial district of New York. It's actually made in Spain. I also found this beautiful print in a Japanese store. Then other changes that I did, I have some cute little details here. This is actually my Polaroid album and I do it like a sketchbook with like everything here. Then I found this print at Chelsea Market. It's so detailed. I love it. And then lastly, I've got this beautiful soul print. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything that I found while traveling. Oh, also, I have this little candle coaster that I found in Brooklyn. It's a real rock. You can see like all the cuts. Also, by the way, I went back to my natural hair color. So yeah, I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. I do enjoy listen to audiobooks on the planes. I'm about to finish the Emily Henry's Happy Place book. It's so cute. It's so, so cute. It's not my favorite from her, but it's so, so cute. And yeah, I highly recommend that. And now for the physical books, I'm between this two. I'm pretty fast. When I start a book, I usually like finish it in like one or two days. I think it has another name in the US. It's called uh, People We Meet on Vacation. I think it's the same book. Okay, it says 12 summers ago. I love that. So I'm taking this to the park. Hopefully I can read a lot there. I usually get very distracted. So let's see. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a pretty good spot in a bench. Also, shout out to my friend Hewon from Korea. A couple of years ago, she made a bunch of like bookmarks and stickers with my name in Korean, and I still use them. I have a bunch of them in different books, and so yeah, I love them so much. It says Julie Love. Anyways, I'm just gonna start my book. It's just so sunny and hot outside, but finally, finally in England. Okay, the story goes by so fast, so I really like that. I think it will rain soon, so I'm just gonna go home and I might go get an ice cream before it closes. It's a new day. I have a bit of a break from work. I'm just gonna go to a coffee shop to rit a bit over there and just be able to concentrate without all the distractions from my computer and everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna go there. I ended up doing a lot of progress. Now I'm gonna go to this bakery that's very popular in London that's called Gales. They do these really good salads and quiches and they have this ham and cheese quiche that I love. So I'm gonna see if they still have one of those. I'm back. I'm so happy. So I've got the roasted sweet potato in freaky, freaky, freaky salad. It's so good, look at that, wow. And then I've got the quiche for dinner. This is the final result of my dinner. Oh, it looks so good. I know it looks like it's like daytime. <laughs> Can you believe it's like 9.30 p.m.? I kind of want to go on a night walk, but I'm kind of lazy at the same time. The balcony is really nice. I'm not actually in the balcony because it's too dirty outside. <laughs> 
I ended up coming for the walk because I'm very lucky that I live in a, like a very remote area so there's a lot of like greenery and stuff I need to watch the movie Inside Out 1 because in a couple of days I'm going to see the second one with one of my friends to the cinema I haven't been to the cinema in so long so I'm very excited for that but anyways wow. Hello, so it's a new day. I'm gonna start doing my makeup because I'm gonna go see Inside Out 2. Do my makeup because it makes me feel good. And I thought of showing my makeup routine because I know a lot of my friends are interested in that. So I'm just gonna show what I do. This is me without any makeup. I use the Amuse foundation. I put the foundation with a damped sponge. What that means is you put it under the water and then you squeeze all the water out. It makes it softer it blends a bit better so i put like about this much and blend everything everywhere <laughs> i finished my book actually i finished both books I was reading you and me on vacation and also writers and lovers the second one i didn't really like it i don't know like the main character i wasn't really bonding with her just didn't feel a connection with the love interests I had higher expectations just wasn't it but it's okay anyways you and me on vacation i really really liked it because the main character i don't know she was so similar to me like personality traits that were so similar to mine and so i thought it was like really funny anyways okay next step is bronzer i use the hula by benefit bronzer do like a bit here a bit here and then i do a bit here for the jawline and then you blend it as a three blending is really really important so like make sure you go all in for it go to your neck so it doesn't look like a line it's so hot in london lately i think it's 28 degrees but the thing about london is that the houses here are not ready for this kind of heat so if i open a window which i need for like ventilation all the heat comes in and then the house keeps it because they're designed for winter to keep the heat of the radiators and stuff anyways then i grab a bit of the same bronzer and i do a bit on my eyelids to create some shape and depth it's so subtle but it does make a difference then i go with the blush i use this wake wake make both shades i do like a very blushy look you put it there and it's usually also like above your bronzer i put a bit of my nose especially in summer so it looks like you're like sun kissed it's so hot in my bathroom i need a fan one second after that i go for the eyebrows i go with gimme brow by benefit it basically is a gel with a bit of color. Just go for it like that, brush them, and then I just go up. After that, I go for the eyeshadows. I go for like a more like natural color, like a pinky natural. It's good to like start building it up. Like don't go for the darker color like straight in. So it's just build up. Lastly, I will grab the light brown shade and just go in just on the outside corner of my eye. Then I take a clean blending brush. I blend everything in. I'm going to grab this pinky glittery color and just go straight in. That looks good to me. Then I do the highlighter which I use the Cookie by Benefit. It's where the light usually gets to. And then a bit on my nose and above my lip. Then I grab a small brush. I grab a bit of highlighter. And this trick is really, really nice. If you want to make your eyes pop more or like bigger, you put it right here on the corner of your eye and it does make a lot of difference 
Next step is mascara. I use the Bad Pal Bang by Benefit. You put whatever's on the tip and then you just woo, put it on my eye and then you brush it. Lastly, lip tint. I've been using this two brands. This one looks like a paint thing, but it's actually glass. It looks like it's like, you know, bended and stuff. Like it's glass, that's the design. I find this so interesting. I saw it and I was like, I need to have this. I put this brand on the bottom lips. So this is a lip tint, it's not a lip gloss. It's basically like a temporary tattoo. Like it doesn't get away, go away. I just put a little bit, like it's so strong, a little bit on my bottom lip. And it's so subtle. Clean hand. Nothing. I'm gonna use this one on my top lip. And then blend it. And lastly, I need my lip gloss, which I think I have it in another bag. I use it even without makeup, like a lip balm. It makes your lips so, so nice. Excuse my sweat in my hair and face, but I feel like this lighting makes it look really, really nice. I'm just gonna finish getting changed and I'll show you my outfit. Don't know if you can really see. This is the outfit for today. Normal jeans with a white shirt. Not very interesting, but I like it. <laughs> after watching the movie. It's cute and it's fun, but I was expecting it to be a bit more emotional. I didn't cry. I didn't just, I don't know. It was a good movie. I think it's like 11 p.m. now. I think I'm gonna take a shower now because I'm so disgusting from all the sweat. So yeah, see you in, what am I do next? Hello. I don't know if you can hear, but there's horses outside, so that's that noise. It's a beautiful sunny day. It is Saturday. I have a picnic with some of my friends and it's just a perfect summery day. I'm wearing a cute little dress. I just want to show you something. I did this to my door last night. I find it so good. I love it. I feel like it's fun. It makes the space a bit more crazy, which I love. Anyways, I need to finish getting ready and take the tube because I'm going to Regent Park, which is in the middle of the city. And that's a bit of a journey for me. So yeah, I need to leave very soon. I just remember that I forgot to do my nails. I refuse to leave my house with this nails. So I'm just gonna do my nails. I don't know if that transition went out well, but <laughs> I did my nails. They're so cute. I did the stick on nails, which is usually what I do because it's easier and cheaper. So it's kind of this marble effect. And they usually last me like two weeks. I have everything ready to go. I have my snacks that I'm bringing to the picnic and then my book. I'm currently reading Beach Read by Emily Henry. And I have one hour of journey. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Also, I bought this tote bag in Jeju Island in South Korea and I love it. Look how cute. The weather is so nice outside. It's not super hot, but it's not like cold and uh, it's just so fresh. I love this time of the year. I've been to the city, like the city center, or well, actually this part of the city center, and it feels so good. Oh, there's a wedding right there. Like I, I always forget to come 
and explore these parts of the city and then yeah It's a new day, let's go to the farmer's market. I wanna say hi to one of my Korean friends that has a stand in the farmer's market. I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm gonna say hi to him and then I'm gonna to go to a park to read my book and enjoy the food. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go to a cafe to read my book because I didn't bring any cardigans or sweaters So I don't think I can be here for a long time without getting a cold or something Yeah, I'm just gonna try to find a coffee shop that's not that busy because it's a Sunday and everyone goes to the coffee shops here So yeah, let's go the flowers are. I made the combination of like some greens and the white flowers that I like. Okay, it's very windy. I think I'm just gonna go home now and just have some rest. It's been such a relaxing Sunday so far. I love this kind of days where I just go get myself some flowers. Um, I just love to have this little like self date and enjoying my time alone and yeah, so <sighs> And the weather is so nice as well. The houses are really pretty here as well. So yeah. Um, okay, let's walk home. Okay, I'm gonna put the flowers in the vase. I'm so excited. It's the first time that I buy this type of flowers and I love white flowers. Oh, I need water. Okay, so I've got the water and then they usually come with some sort of salt. Yeah, this is flour food and I think it's salt or sugar something like that they usually keep your flowers really fresh yeah it's sugar it's definitely sugar when you get fresh flowers to make them last longer you need to cut the tip in a diagonal change the water every day cut like one centimeter and do that every single day a bit every day and they last way longer than they usually do. There we go. Wait. Oh, okay. All the bitchin's outside, shut up. And then... Oh, that looks very pretty. They're a bit tall for the vase. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm just gonna cut a bit every single day so they will eventually get shorter. So that looks really good. Let's clean this mess. Now, where are the ones that fell on the floor? I think that looks really, really good. I like them. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been so fun. I really enjoy doing this type of videos. So yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next one.